It's recording this time. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> I had done a few of the questions already, but um, apparently I wasn't recording. Huh. And my camera shut off automatically, and I thought my battery had gone dead, but it just went off. Let's start over, shall we? There we go. Okay. Um, this is a question from Memphis. What was your first uh, job, your first impression of your first job? Well, like I said, I worked for the <laughs> factory. Which was called? And Clark Equipment Company. And I liked my job. I thought it was a good job. We did a lot of drinking and playing cards there. That was part of my job. <laughs> and uh, we had a good time. But then they closed the plant down. And that was the end of that job. <laughs> Next question. Uh, when you became the age to vote, this is from Ruth, uh, who did you vote for? Uh, JFK. Was it really JFK? First time you voted. And then he got killed when I was in service. That's right. 1962. You had just gone in the service. I had been in the service uh, a while. I thought you went in the 62. I went in, when did he get killed? 63, wasn't I have no idea. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, because he got killed when I was, uh, I was coming home from the Navy and he got killed when I was on my way home. And what did you think? Well, I didn't know what to think. I didn't know if I should go back to the ship. But I said, the heck with it, I'm going home. Ah. And I got back to the ship, and uh, it was still sitting there. It was supposed to leave, but I come back late. But uh, because Kennedy got killed, our ship never went out. So that sort of saved me. Saved you, huh? Yeah. Jim asked a few questions. How much was Coca-Cola when you were a kid? Coca-Cola was a nickel. Hamburgers. Hamburgers, 15 cents. Price of movie ticket. Price of movie tickets was 25 cents. You're old. Um, your first car and how much you paid for it? First car I bought was a 55 ship from uh, when I was in the service. And I think I give uh, about $250 for it. And tell about the car that you got when you got out of when service. When I got out of the Navy, I ordered me a brand new 1967 Chevy Camaro. Was it a convertible? And, uh, it was a regular, no, it was just a uh, Chevy Camaro. And he had no idea what it was going to look like or anything? It had a 327 in it, automatic, column, nice car. I wish I still had it. <laughs> uh, and the first movie you ever saw on a big screen? Well, I can't really say, but the one that stands in mind was Psycho. Albert Hitchcock. It scared me. It scared you? It scared me. I was scared. <laughs> Uh, Jim also asks, if you, is, are there any adventures that you dreamed of doing but you never did? Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot of, lot of adventures you dream about doing. Everybody does. What's one you dream? Even you. If, I know I do. And you. <laughs> and everybody, yeah. But uh, I don't know. I always uh, dream of maybe uh, taking a trip around the world. Any particular place? I will never get to because I ain't got enough money. Well, uh-huh. Because Stacy keeps me broke. Hey, I don't keep you broke. She won't pay me no rent. Uh-huh. I'm a freeloader. She's a freeloader. <laughs> Next question uh, from Curry Stephanie. I would like to know what it was like for him growing up. I grew up on a farm and I grew up with five kids and never had a whole lot, but we was all happy. And we lived out in the country, and uh, we had a good life. Good parents, and uh, it was just a good time back then. It ain't like now. These kids nowadays, they don't, they don't know, know what it was like back then. It was a lot better back then than it is now. And, and also, she wants to know, what do you think of technology today compared to when you were younger? technology has come such a long way, but like I say, we had more fun back then than they have now. We always had something to do. These kids now, they say, I'm bored. Unless they got a computer in their hand and they're, then they're brain dead. <laughs> and the last question is from S. Jam Tyler. And we got a wine. It's okay, baby dog. He said, have you ever wished that you had more than one child? No, because I couldn't afford more than one time. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, didn't you ever wish you had a son? I, uh, I'd have two preloaders then. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to retire. Did I'd you ever sure. regret you didn't have a son though? No, not really. You're, you're a son enough. I'm not a son. <laughs> you retard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a good kid. <laughs> As far as kids go, you're all right. You mean you never ever talked about having more kids? No. Huh. Okay. One's enough. I can't afford more than that. Yeah, you've made that apparent. Well, your parents didn't have a lot and they had five. Back then, you could afford five. You know, a hamburger, 15 cents. <laughs> you know what I mean? Down here, downtown, you get the six hamburgers for a dollar. Oh, that was at Emory's, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it called then? That was six dollars for a hamburger. Yeah, yeah, no. Different. Okay. Say goodbye to everybody. Adios, amigo. Have a good one. I'm sure they'll have questions again someday. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Sometime I want you to do some stuff about your when you're in the Navy. Oh, no. You want to hear this story, huh? Yeah, we got to have them on tape so everybody can see them. Yeah. Goodbye.